Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. Remember if you want to be in with the chance of winning a free game each week on our sales series, just leave um <laughs> just leave a normal comment. But bear in mind that so far no one that's written normal comment has actually won. So there is that. Then just crack a like on a couple of other comments so we can see the cream rise to the top. Now the whole huge Nintendo Switch sale series that we've been running with that title is quite annoying for us because we actually removed that, changed it to something else, and the algorithm just didn't promote it at all. For the first four hours, it was just getting no views, and then we switch it back to huge, and lo and behold, there we go. It's really strange and just odd, so we might as well turn it into a meme. But as it is, I'm gonna try and make sure that this video is full of some ridiculous deals. Either games that just don't usually go on sale or ones that are at least 50% off. Have a look down in the comments. The top comment that I post will be our winners from our recent competitions. And a big thanks to Hypercharge who have sponsored this one as they now have a sale in the US region. Which ones are the best? Well, let's find out. First up then is the US side and it's Dark Souls which hasn't seen a big big sale until this summer sales has arrived. And it's 40% off, so it's a good chunk and it's very cheap, really, for the amount of content that you're getting. This is one of those games that has such a reputation for being really difficult, but actually once you figure out the circle strafing and backstab techniques, it's actually not too difficult at all. It has a brilliant lore that you have to discover as the player, and it's a game where you're allowed to go wherever you want straight from the get-go. There's tons of secret areas and hidden ways of doing things. You can kill all the NPCs or you can help them out, but your decisions change the overall outcomes of many of the dialogues. It's a deceptively deep title and it's one that I absolutely love. It's Dark Souls and it's finally got a nice big chunky sale in the US eShop. This sale ends on the 16th. Then we've got Diablo 3, which has had quite a few sales to be honest, but this is one of the best we've seen. It's 50% off, taking it down to 24 quid. And we've had a lot of pretenders as well, haven't we? Like the recent Minecraft title and a number of others, which have been decent, but they just haven't quite had that same impact. This has four player local play as well as online play if you wanna go that route. It has 60 FPS gameplay, it's super slick, and there is a crazy amount of time. I've got a good friend called Alan who spent at least two or three hundred hours in this and I don't think that's even scratching the surface. Well worth picking up if you're in the market for this type of action RPG. Be warned this one finishes in the next 24 hours so if you want to get it you're gonna have to get it quickly. Another of the games that loads of us mentioned during my recent video about the best ports on the Switch is Skyrim. Now Skyrim, I've spent 250 hours, I think it's 300 actually now with the Switch version included, and it's a title where you create your own class using one of many races, and as you go through the game, the skills that you use the most will be the ones that level up the most, and there's a ton of different guilds and factions that you can join to do missions from, and so many cool moments. This is one of, uh, one of the gaming greats really, and I do hope they bring Oblivion over to the Switch. And there's thousands and thousands of hours of gameplay here. This is currently 50% off, which is one of the best sales I've seen, and that's in the US region. Next up, and another one you're gonna have to buy very quickly, you've got 24 hours to get it, is a title called Submerged, which is only about a pound at the moment. This one sees you taking on a sibling, trying to rescue, or I should say, trying to save the person nearest and dearest to you. And it's quite a serene title where you travel around on a small boat. There's a lot of climbing in here. It's not the most complex and it looks a touch dated, but for a pound, it's a lovely little title to add to your collection. Just be quick as it ends at midnight tonight.
Civilization VI is one of a few 4X strategy games on the Switch, and in all honesty, it's probably by far the best. It has an incredible amount of content. Now, as with the PC and I believe the other versions, I don't think it's actually on any other consoles other than an iPad, which is a bit strange. But as with the other versions, there is a touch of slowdown when you get to the really later stages of the game. But for the most part, it doesn't really affect the gameplay a huge amount, and earlier on, there's no real issues. It's a title that they've actually added new material to since launch, which was nice because it was missing some of the expansion packs but it's also one that is a complete life eater so if you've already got a gigantic backlog uh, and you're not going to actually end up playing this then don't get it but if you're looking for a strategy game that can take up some serious time and is actually really rewarding then this is the one for you. Next up we've got the Hypercharged Unbox Sale which is also 40% off, taking it down to around about $14 in the US region. Now if you remember this was on sale last week in the UK and it finally sees its US drop. It's a very good Toy Story-esque first person co-op tower defense game, that's a bit of a mouthful. It does have a versus mode but it's a great deal of fun. What's really nice is that the developers are always adding new content. You can play the whole thing split screen as well locally with four players. So if you're into old school GoldenEye style fun you'll definitely have a blast with your mates. There are tons of different hidden items in the levels, it's just a really fun game. But there's also versus deathmatch if that's your thing. They have been working hard on that single player side and they plan to bring some really exciting new additions. Next up, and one of my favourite strategy games on the Switch actually, and we've never mentioned it which is strange, it's Conduct Together or Conduct Together, which sees you basically conducting trains to solve puzzles. It sounds pretty lame but it's amazing. This is currently 95% off and I challenge anyone not to really enjoy this one. It's on the UK store sale, has lovely cutesy visuals and if you're a fan of just one of those relaxing puzzlers, it's got lovely little music that plays in the background, everything runs really nice and smoothly. If you're a fan of that type of game, I would strongly recommend picking this up. It is a huge saving. <laughs> In a similar vein, I'm going to chuck another massive reduction in, and it's when ski lifts go wrong. This is so addictive. It's a bit like those bridge builder games, you know the physics ones where you can see the amount of pressure on each of the different elements of the structure that you've built and then you kind of launch the cars or in this case the skier and try and have them reach their target without your contraption failing miserably. It's all based around real physical properties and later in this title what made it quite interesting is you get to control the skier so you're doing flips and stuff and obviously there's uh, ski lifts in here as well. This one is 90% off and this one goes on till the 17th. Okay, the last one, I'm going to totally cheat and I'm going to stick images of my favourite remaining deals on the US eShop. Look at these, this is crazy. Remember, these go on until the 16th, so if you're interested in any of them, then do check out those as quickly as you can. Right, with that all done and said, let's have a look at two games that you should avoid, like when you were a kid and your granny asked you for a nice wet kiss. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that sounds so, <laughs> that sounds so wrong, <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at them. First up then we've got Solo Islands of the Heart, which is only about three quid at the moment, but even at that price, it's one of the most pretentious and just annoying games I've played in recent times. It aims to be all about love and it tries to be incredibly deep, but it just comes off as melodramatic cheese. I didn't enjoy it at all. The core mechanics are very, very poor and yeah, not a great game at all, avoid it. Go for something else. The next one I would say is an avoid at the moment is Disaster Report 4. 
Not because it's the worst game ever, like Glenn reviewed it, he thought it was alright. I thought it was meh, alright. But the price, I think it's a bit of an insult. This is one of the biggest sales we've seen across all of the games on most platforms. And at the moment this is what, $47.99 on sale. Eeeh, no, 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 no. That's, the, that's not cricket, that's not how it's done. So for now, I would say wait for at least a 50% on this one. I'm breaking all the rules. I'm going to add one more game in. You need to buy Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. I didn't give it its own section because I've spoken about it so many times. But it's a beautiful title where you're lost on an island. You make a new band of friends, build up your base. And then you go out on loads of different missions and quests. It's just delightful and at this price well worth picking up big thanks to all of you who enjoy the channel and like the content do please stick around if you enjoy it subscribe and all that fancy stuff thanks to our patrons who support us each and every month and remember if you want to win a free game uh what was the thing you had to do again oh yeah normal comments yeah i remember them loads of normal comments for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya